Good morning everybody, welcome back. Belinda here from Visualize DNZ and I'm working again in the Sweet Moments journal. Uh, so if this is your first time seeing this journal then welcome, first time seeing my channel, welcome. Uh, this little journal is one I'm working on right now and it's made with the digital kits that I've recently recently released. Gosh that's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, so the Sweet Moments Animal Kingdom journal page kit and the Sweet Moments Animal Kingdom Ephemera Kit. So two kits are available on Etsy and I'm using them to make this journal with. So first up, I've got a big pile of lace here to my right and I thought before I go putting pockets and stuff in, I want to really lace the pages so then I know what room. What room. I do apologise, I'm having trouble getting my words out lately. Uh, what room I've got for pockets and things. Um, so let's just have a look. I've already got this ruffle, paper ruffle up on this page. I'm going to pop the fabric flip on this page once I've uh, sewn that. So still need to do that. And I think I'm going to pop them on pages where there aren't uh, digitals. So on non-digital pages. So this one. This one looks like a good page here and what would I like to put on the edge of it? So I've grabbed out some options but I haven't narrowed it down any more than that. Uh, so I've got a, a good amount of room inside the cover for hanging them over the page. I mm, think maybe a little bit of colour on this page. Got this creamy, oh I quite like that. Can we get two pages out of that? Oh, I think we might. I think we might have just enough to get two pages out of it. And a little bit left over. Okay. So let's go ahead and pop that one on this page and on the matching page in the back. In the second half of the signature. My scissors aren't cutting very well at the end, at the tips now, when it comes to fabric or lace or anything. Might be time to get a, a new pair of scissors. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them with paper, but yeah, fabric, they, they're not cutting so well. Okay, I've got this little snippet here. I'm going to pop it in my project box because it might come in handy for the top of a tag or something like that, or a wee cluster. Who knows? Right, which way are we going? I think that way. Okay, and I'm going to use my alcohol-based premium craft glue. It's actually getting a bit low, so it could take a... Oh, I was going to say, could take a bit to, to come out, but it's coming out to meet me. It's a warm day here, warm autumn day. And there's way too much glue on the page, but not going to fall off is it <laughs> well one hopes not right so just a bit of an overhang it's not a wide lace so let's just use my card to smooth it down a bit and I haven't put it on properly there we go that's better Still needs a little trimming at the top, but we'll wait to do that. Don't need to do that right now. Just want to give that a little moment to dry before I flip the page. Actually, what I might do, if I can find something, here we go. Just put a bit of paper in between it and the page. So I'm not going to damage the page that it's backing. Right, and the opposite side is this one. Oops, lace coming to meet me. Again, let's make sure we that side. Put it down the right way up. Let's try and not get quite so much glue on this side. Oh, 
well at least it's not having you're not having to watch me try and get the glue out of the bottle because it's flowing quite well but I will need to get another bottle soon here we go happy with that so far okay so let's flip back here pop that down there this time this one should be yep not not sticky now it's all good and this little bit here sorry if I turn it around the right way so you can see is a little uh, book page book page signature page so it's a couple of book pages hinged and then sewn into the signature and we've got a little pocket here this is something I uh, learned off of Rachel from Roxy Creations uh, and then we've got a wee flip out here for journaling space and then just a cluster that I've added in there but I'm thinking this might be a good page to add a little bit of trim onto as well let's have a look so the other side we've got a pocket on this but we could put the lace on the back side and this is just a collage of different writing papers so I think that's our next plan um, we could go with a white lace here because there's already quite a bit of colour oh where's the end I've lost the end here we go that looks really pretty but I am thinking since this is quite a narrow page we could go with something a bit bigger couldn't we really amp up the factor isn't that fun I like that let's go with this oops just dropped my card on the floor oh don't cut it too short okay now it's going to probably be too long because it moved on me but that's all right I can trim off easier to trim off than to have it too short that's my preference anyway so I'm just going to pick up my card Hey, and that's the right side some of these are actually easy to tell surprisingly on the laces which is the right and which is the wrong side usually it's quite hard to tell okay I think I want it about there so down the center of the flowers so the flowers are half on half off and that means that we are gluing almost up to the text So I hope everyone's having a really lovely day. It's been a beautiful week here so far, like really mild, in fact more than mild, it's actually been very warm and northwest wind which is our hot or warm dry wind, been lots of that. Uh, so I've had windows open every day. And this week it's supposed to all turn to custard and be like our first real wintry blast of the year. Um, not super looking forward to that, I have to say. I'm really enjoying these days of not having to light the fire or put the heater on in the office. Uh, I'm not going to keep that little snippet. It's. I think we've, we've had our dash. Oops, see, look, it's coming out to meet me. I forgot to wind the top down. So let's flip our page over here and quickly go to the other side so I can use up this glue before it goes yucky. So I don't like wasting glue, especially this glue. It's a bit pricier. It's totally worth it. But I don't want to be wasting the stuff. Yep. Gonna try and oh what a mess. When it does this, it doesn't like to lay down in nice little rows. It goes all gloopy. But there we go. I think that'll that'll be fine. Oops, missed the end here. Need some glue at the end. And about there. Oops, move it down 
slightly there we go that is super pretty I like that this little snippet I will keep because that could look really nice just as a little embellishment on something okay that that looks really pretty that makes me happy and a nice contrast I think against like the coffee dyed and the neutral papers is just that little white accent lovely okay a little sip of my coffee before it goes stone cold which I'm sure it will before the end of the video okay so let's switch our paper here back to this side dries fairly quickly but I just don't want my pages to end up stuck together while I'm going backwards and forwards okay so we could put something on this page or we could do this page I'm thinking this page we can always go back and add something into the other one um, so the other side of this that one I'm wondering about yellow do we want a bit of yellow does that look pretty sorry try and keep it in frame girl hmm it's a bit and I feel like it's too narrow like it kind of gets lost could go with this this is multicolor and it has got a bit of blue in it, which there's not very much blue in this journal, but there is some. So I think a little bit of blue in this lace is good. And I like that. I think I want to go with this one. Just brings in a bit of colour, a bit more colour to these pages. Cut a couple of bits of that. And what other one did I use? I'm just trying to eliminate from my desk a little bit. What one did I use on those pages? Hmm, okay. Can't see it. Maybe I used it all. Okay, so do I want it on this side or this side? Sorry, keep it in camera. Gosh been doing this long enough I shouldn't have to remind myself to keep things in camera just got a little thread hanging off there so I just want to trim that off it was annoying me um, so this side or this side what were we going to do on over here This one I do have trouble working out which way is up and which way is down. I think it's that way. I think I'll just have the little coloured bits hanging off the end of the page. So I'll come quite a long way into the page with this bit. Yeah, I think that one. Rather than have it opposite the, the picture here. Although it does bring in the blue from the bow. Oh, I don't know now. That is actually quite pretty. And that would be a good place for a pocket, wouldn't it? Okay, I've convinced myself. Let's pop it here. And we've got that bit of blue tying in, which is quite nice. Okay, so work out where I want it. line of blue about there and then one closer to the edge of the page there we go did 
Did I stick that up the right way? Hope I did. It's too late now, it's down. I have a feeling I didn't. Oops, my glue. Oh, we're misbehaving glue. You're misbehaving. Okay, I like that. That's nice. Okay, swap our page over here. And which one is it? That's just trying to find the same page. Where is it? that one okay whoops this one um so do we want it oh again with which way up it goes i think i did put the other one up the wrong way but never mind if it's hard for me to tell then it's hard for other people to tell too well that i'm going to tell myself that it's still going to look pretty anyway isn't it so this side or this side again I actually really like it opposite that I didn't think I was going to do that but I am so let's glue it down lock it in and again I've got that gloopy goo to, to use up oh don't go way out there that's ridiculous I have to clean that up. I don't want glue out that far into the page. Right, let's just close the glue before it can waste any more. Get up this bit that went too far out. I do enjoy uh, getting the dry glue off my fingers of this glue. It's one of those childhood things. Were you one of those children who used to put PVA glue all over your hands? And then spend ages peeling it off again? Or was that something they kids don't do anymore? Like back in my day, that was quite a common thing to do. I haven't got glue under there. Don't know how I missed you, but... So Kelly came, a cat who doesn't spend a lot of time at home, she came home again for breakfast this morning. And... Apart from a short break in the middle when I got up to make a coffee, uh, she sat or slept in my arms for an hour and a half. So I'm peeling glue off my fingers. Um, which was really lovely. It's kind of awkward though because I can't do anything. So I just sat and watched YouTube. <laughs> which was quite nice to have an excuse to just sit there and blob out with my favourite YouTubers. So I watched Gail Agostinelli, I watched um, Lydia from February and June, her latest video, which is just awesome. And then because it popped up on my suggested watches, I watched a new video from Adam Lambert because I think he is phenomenal. Just such an amazing, <clears throat> amazing talent. Oh, excuse me, I think I need more coffee. And then I was like, okay, Kelly. I think it's time you hop down there because mummy really needs to do something. So an hour and a half of cradling a cat in my arms. It's just the sweetest. So I'll definitely be adding a cat related piece of ephemera into my journal for today. Which is not unusual. Cats are feature on lots of my days. Okay, right. So we've got that. I'm being careful with this bit of paper because there's somebody's address on the reverse side of it. So I don't want to accidentally flash that on camera. Okay, I think that's, yep, that's dry enough now. Okay, do we want any, oops, careful, don't show the address. So what are we left with? So that's, oh, gosh, middle of the signature is back here somewhere there found it okay so we've got one two three I feel like we need something closer to the front maybe on this paper because we've 
I'm going to put a fabric flip on that side. And then on the other side, I will do belly band. Yeah, I think this paper. Okay, so the yellow might go here. Although, again, I still think it's a bit thin. Oops. Put it so the decorative bit hangs off. Yeah, it's getting lost. I, I do like it. It's very pretty. But I think on the edge of the page, it's just getting lost. It's a little bit too narrow. So I'm going to say, no, you're not going on a page. Um, I've got quite a few white options. I've got this red I grabbed out, a pinky red, um, which is super, super pretty. But I don't think it's right. No, I'm going to put that aside for something else. I've got pink. No, not liking it on that either. I think we're going to end up with white. Uh, this is pink and white. So I'm going to just not even try that one. Um, I've got this bit of creamy Aztec style pattern. There is enough to do two pages. What do we think of that one? It's not bad. It kind of tones in very nicely with this page here. Um, or what else? Ah, this is the one that I was looking for that we put on that other, the other pages. We could go with more of that, which I do love. It is pretty. I've got this narrow white one. Got to audition all the options. Well, not all of them. I didn't pull out all my laces. That's quite nice. And because it's white, it's not getting lost, even though it's narrower. Or oh, there's this daintier one. It's a very similar pattern, but it's a lot finer. Which is also pretty. Liking that as well. Or there's this wide one, really wide one. Is that going to be too wide? It's a bit crumpled. Or should I say a lot crumpled? Let's go for the other end. Slightly less crumpled. We could go quite a wee way out with that one. Oh, shall we do it? Let's see how it looks when we close the journal. Yeah, let's do it. I love a bit of overhang. Okay, let's cut it. So I'm going to get rid of these other ones off my desk. Okay, and I'm going to have to sort out the tangle of lace that I've got in my box down beside me. After all this. I think I want it about there. So when I close the journal, it's going to push this out a bit, so it's going to come out further, which is good. Make sure I cut enough off. Don't want it short. And two pieces. And then after I've got this on, I'm going to look at decorating a couple of pockets. Okay, we didn't end up using that one. That would have... Yeah, that one would have been okay as well, but I like this one. I like how far it hangs off the page. This one is super hard to work out which is the right and which is the wrong side. Like, they seem to be pretty much of a muchness. it's slightly more raised on this side so we're going to go with this side and I want to go to about that line it's handy that's got the lines on the paper so I can judge where I want to put my glue I'm just going to put some down the middle on this one as well
Yes, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, here's my bit of paper. Switch it round. Why, oh, hello, Mr. Squirrel. Aren't you cute? I don't want it on that same side. Or do we want it on this side? No, I think I'm going to put it on this side. Ah, all the decisions. And we want to go to that line there. Put my finger there while I open the glue. Right. Gluey fingers. Somehow that seemed to fit better than the other one. Must have measured them slightly differently. Okay, there we go. We have our lace in. Uh, I may add more if I feel it's warranted, but for now, I think we're pretty well covered. Uh, and I think I'll put on these ones, I'll put pockets on the reverse side. I think will work really nicely. Okay, one more time. Oop. Flipping that paper over. Although I could probably leave it open anyway for now. while we grab out my pockets so in the kit there are these two plainish pockets so they're layered up with the watercolor background and lace and this is lace i've got which i scanned and then laid over top and it's really crinkly and and stretchy and, and lovely and i really like the crinkly effect it's given it's quite cool so I'm just spotted a hank of lace here that was still left on my desk. I'm wondering, oh, do I want to put lace on these pockets? That's kind of pretty. What do you think, people? You think I should put a bit of lace on? I think I might do it. I think I might do it. So these two pockets are in the ephemera kit. Uh, they're slightly different sizes on purpose. Just to give a bit of variety. So that's for that one and need to measure it on the pocket for this one since they're different widths. And so they're just a standard pocket really. Uh, just a good base for you to decorate up with however you like or to use in any journal. Like they could go in lots of different journals but they are designed for this sweet moments kit obviously. Okay, so we're going to have lace, so I think I'll keep them kind of like that, because I'll put the lace on last, I think. Thinking a little bit of book page or such like. So let's go that, and... Oops, very hard to tear off just little bits, isn't it? Often doesn't go where you want it. Okay, just something like that. Um, what might we want to pop? 
got this lovely basket of flowers, which I think is super pretty. Got perhaps a little bit big for there. That could be nice. Can't hold things and test things. I think that colours seem to work better for me there on that one. Got a big, big one here. If we change that around, we might fit it on. Options, sometimes options is makes it hard to choose, doesn't it? No, I think I like this better. Well, we've got our little leaves. So all the things I'm playing with at the moment are from the Sweet Moments ephemera kit. Well, that's kind of sweet, isn't it? Just a lot more... I'd say subtle, but the colours are, are vibrant. Um, but it's not as big and it just feels like, I don't know. sweeter somehow but I think they're the wrong size okay let's go for labels see if we like something in the labels oh I like that I do I like that no not feeling that one Go with something like that. It's a little mini tag, which is super cute. No. So sweet. Or do we want another animal? Sorry, I'm being quite quiet. I'm just having fun. That's got sweet on it already. This has got beautiful on it. So maybe we don't need words with those. Little. all. Oh, this is another option. <laughs> yep, just playing over here. Just playing. Yep, I've checked into the silent mode. I don't really want to do them both the same. Um, so I still kind of like that there. So maybe we'll go with that. Um, <laughs> don't think I want any of the buttons. The printable buttons from the kit, not on these. Um, This book page is from, um, it's like a, a historical record of all the main events and people and when they lived and died. And 
got to be ca careful with it because sometimes it's like this person born executed or killed or died or um shot or um you know there's some not nice words that i don't want you know in my ephemera so i've got to be careful and there was one over this other side that says executed and it was like hmm yeah okay maybe we'll choose the other side and the other side actually i just saw it it's positive used positively but when seen in isolation not so great it's diseases so this person was um great in the treatment of diseases came up with some really good uh, treatments but when you just have the word disease it this can't even say it now diseases this oh my gosh having trouble um you know it suddenly takes on a whole different thing i don't like that word there it's the colors i think they're not just gelling for me um Actually, maybe I need a different word from a different kit. So these are my vertical words plus. I'm thinking maybe this needs, needs to be bigger. Maybe that's what I'm after. I need something... a little different the colors actually work really nice okay yep so that says pleasantness let's go with that one and do we want anything else I feel like I need something else on that one um, this one how do I feel okay I need my ink out so my shabby shutters that I'm using to ink I think I'll start with the pocket did I ask everyone how they were today? I don't even remember. I am so sorry. If I haven't, then how are you today? I think I may, maybe I did. But anyway, I've asked you twice. So if you missed it the first time, <laughs> maybe you can answer it this time. So this video is going up on Thursday, I believe. I'm recording it on Tuesday because I'm going to be out on Thursday. Uh, so looking forward to that. It will be nice to have a day out. It's kind of one of those things. It's nice to have a day out, but I love being at home. I think I just want that's being cut that edge, so I just want to give it a torn edge. I think I'll give it a bit of ink as well. Um, yeah, I'm very much a home person. I love being at home. I have my routine. Um, I love being able to switch it up and do things because I'm not having to travel and take time with that uh, but it is quite isolating so when I have a chance to go out it's great but then I'm out all day and it's like I really must not be able to to be at home around all my things doing all the things I love and yeah but it's it's good to have a day out because it does remind you of you know how good I've got it so if you do something that's out of your out of your normal lane, you know, like going out or maybe you go out all the time, maybe it's staying home for you. Um, it's good to remind you what you love about your normal everyday day. You know, if you go out and work your job, it might be seeing the people that you see or having those conversations or, you know, a laugh that might happen during the day or, you know, or seeing some wildlife to and from or maybe in your job you get to see wildlife. So it does help you appreciate those things about your normal everyday life. So when I'm out this week, I will appreciate while I'm out the things I see and do and people I interact with. And then I'll appreciate the next day when I'm back home in my own space with my own, 
all my supplies right ready to hand if i need something i oops, i can go grab it it's not like 30 minutes away by car <laughs> all those things That's a bit of um, Away in Manger, is that song, the music. Which is kind of quite fitting for the theme of this journal too, in terms of, you know, Away in a Manger, there were the animals around the manger and Kind of to me in my head it, it actually fits okay so this one's almost done we need to put the lace along the bottom i didn't think about that when i put the label on but it's okay doesn't matter if it overlaps i mean it's got lines on so you could write a date or something on it but it doesn't really matter if you don't write on it either for whoever ends up with this journal so just a reminder too that um, I've still got playful days and the cowgirls and lace journals available I haven't listed I think playful days is on Etsy uh, but the, the cowgirls and lace journal I haven't listed anywhere because I'm still trying to work on my website and want it to go up on my website instead of Etsy uh, but if you are interested in it, then just do get in touch with me um, and we can organise some photos or something if you want a fresh scene. Um, there is a video, flip through video on YouTube if you want to watch that, if you're interested in the journal. It is still available for sale. Um, yeah, so if you're interested, perhaps give the video a watch if you haven't seen it. Um, get in touch and we can have a conversation just by getting in touch doesn't mean that you are going to buy it it's just like you know let's talk about it because it depends on postage where in the world you are all that sort of kind of thing and how much it would cost so it's just a conversation if you're interested hi <laughs> i think that's really super pretty um, I did suddenly realise I had thought I would back these because it's not photocopy paper, it's presentation paper. And I'm just wondering whether I need to weight it up a bit more. What I might do is just put a strip along the top just to reinforce the top. So I'll do that. But we'll carry on with this one in the meantime because I'll do the same thing with this one. And we can do that after I've decorated, so not a problem. those back in my tray before I scoot them onto the floor or something um, yes that's the, the side with the diseases <gasps> I don't know why I had such trouble with that word I mean ridiculous absolutely it's like sometimes I forget how to talk which I don't understand Uh, glue don't understand how that happens and seems to happen quite regularly for me it's dumb right want to use green on that yeah why not it's going to be a little bit trickier so I'm just going to kind of hit the tips wherever I can get I'm going to worry about getting all the little crevices. Oops, because, yeah, things like that where I bend it over. In fact, maybe we'll just go like this. Oops, don't seem to have much ink on my sponge anymore. Oh, why won't you get on there? That's better. I think I was inking uh, inking the sponge and then using a different part of it. I think that was my problem. 
which is a bit dumb. A bit unhelpful, shall we say. Still not sure if I need something else on this one. So we'll put these pieces down and then have another assessment. Still got the lace, of course, which may make a difference. Let's cover over most of that word that we don't want to see. And leave a little bit of it poking out because then it's, it hasn't got the same. That's not straight. Ah, it's down now. Okay, we'll live with it. Maybe that's where I'll be putting another element to just disguise the fact that I glued it on crooked. I mean, it looks fine. It's just the flower stems are, or the leaf stems are pointing out this way a little bit. It's like, I'm sure it's actually fine. Nobody would really worry about it apart from me. Okay, so do I want something in here? I'm feeling something round, but I don't know that one of the buttons would be the best thing. Oops, and then I just knocked my rubbish, little rubbish bin onto the floor. So then I'll have, yeah, no, wrong colour, definitely wrong colour. I don't really want, don't think I want another one of those. Um, what else? Oh, that's right, I've got lace to put on. I oh, know, it's alright, it comes under the word. Um, okay, let's put that on. Oh, that's so annoying. Now I've got all the little bits and pieces out of my rubbish container to pick up. Um, just need to get that bit of glue off the end that's a bit dry and goopy. Onto the card a bit more, or onto the pocket rather. Yeah, that's better. Okay, this lace has a little bit of a, a curl to it. It doesn't sit flat, but that's quite nice. And the, when it's in the journal, the journal will hold it flat. And it may actually press it so it sits flat. But I like that it's got that slight sort of curvature to it. Gives it a little sort of fluffiness, if you like. Okay, I still do feel like I need something there. And I've used all the butterflies out of the kit already, so I can't pop one of the kit butterflies. Um, but how about a stamped butterfly? Looking through my stamps here to find a butterfly of the right size. And that one's too big. That one's too big. Well, the dragonfly might be alright. I'm thinking more butterfly. Come on, butterflies, where are you hiding? Have you all flown away? <clears throat> I think this is from um, squirrels and frogs and it's called I don't know if it's got a name um, I 
No, it doesn't seem to have a name. Okay. No name stamps from Squirrel and Frogs on... Um, I was going to say Etsy. It's not Etsy. From AliExpress or eBay. I'm not sure which because I've had them a while. I don't do a lot of shopping on um, eBay now. I don't do a lot of shopping full stop really. Um, yeah, I think that could be quite sweet. Okay, let's find something to stamp it onto. Oh, could do it onto a little bit of... Yeah, let's do that onto this little scrap of book page. And what colour would we like? Hmm, that's the next difficulty. What colour would we like? Mm -hmm. All divisions. Yellow, I think, would be lost. Not blue. Don't want blue. I haven't got purple. That's a really big hole in my stamp pad collection, as I do not have purple. I'm sure I did, but I cannot find it anywhere. Um, so I, at some stage I need a purple ink pad. I mean, it's just ridiculous that I don't have one. It's it's crazy. Um, and yet I have got things that I've stamped that are in purple. So I'm like, I'm sure I had one at some point. Oh, sorry, my apologies. Because um, I'm filming later in the day. I forgot because I had those Kelly cuddles. Um, come on, make a decision. What colour? Green. Okay, if green doesn't suit, we'll just stamp it again in a different colour. So let's just go try it out and see if we like it. I've still got other bits of book page I can use. I'm feeling like this one's actually getting a bit dry on me. I might have to see if I can find a re-anchor, which will be difficult because it's... Um, it's one they don't make, a colour they don't make anymore. I like the green. I think the green looks nice, but I think it's a bit lost on the book page. So I've also got the little scrap of music paper that I tore off. So let's do it on this instead. And I'll save that book page one for something else. Maybe pop it in my journal for today won't be wasted yeah I think I like that better for and what color gumball green hmm need to find a re-anchor I think I'll stamp this off sorry I'm off camera I just want to stamp it off clean the stamp off a bit and grab my wee fussy cutting scissors Now I'm just going to give it a little bit of a border. I'm not going to do all the fine little detail. I could have torn it, but I wasn't really in the tear mood. And it's very soft paper, this. It's old. From the early 1900s. There we go. Uh, and I can't put it in my rubbish bin because the rubbish bin is on the floor. Yes. Yes. Very, very happy with that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to ink around it because that's kind of like green and green and green. You know. So let's just stop and not ink it. I don't think it needs it. I like the look as is. And I don't want to introduce vintage photo onto this pocket at this stage. Okay. And it covers over those stems that were pointing the wrong way because I glued on the flowers crooked. Yes, much, much happier with that. And you know what I didn't do? I didn't ink the pocket uh, before I stuck the lace on. So the bottom is not going to be inked. But let's do the sides.
That's so common for me to do is get ahead of myself. And inking is often like, oh, now I've got to ink around that or not do it or something. Right, there we go. There's that. Okay, so now all I want to do is strengthen the top of the pockets so that when we're putting things in and out, they don't tear. Um, so or for this, all I want is a scrap of any sort of paper. Um, do I want to use this? Yeah, it's in my hand now, so let's just use this. I'm just going to cut a strip. Stamps are in my way now. Um, get rid of that because it's getting a bit sticky. So cut a strip, you know, that's deeper than your little thumb notch and that's wide enough for the pocket. And you just glue it on and then cut out the overhang, including your thumb, thumb notch. So super easy way to just strengthen the top of a pocket without backing the whole thing. So I'm getting a bit of glue on my desk from the thumb notch because I, of course I glued the, glued the whole thing. I'm going to get my scissors all gluey. Right, just sticking the bits to my book in lieu of my rubbish bin. on straight that's all right I'll just just trim off that little bit doesn't have to look pretty it's just a functional strengthening that's all it's doing so it can be any type of paper it could just be a random little book page uh, photocopy paper a scrap of something anything will do okay and I'm just gonna Give that an extra bit of ink for any little bits that might be sticking up. There we go. So we've strengthened the top of that one. Now let's do this one. I don't know if this is going to be wide enough. Oh yes. Yep. You can get away with that. I'm not sure that the edge is straight, so I'm just going to pop it up a bit and trim the whole top. Okay, so we're almost done with these pockets, and then we'll glue them in. How are we doing? Oh yes, we're, we're about out of time, so let's move on. Crack on a bit, get it done, and then that'll be the video for today. And I've still got to record my Patreon video for Thursday as well. So, busy day. Could have really done without spending an hour and a half giving the cat cuddles, but, you know, she's not home all the time, so it was really lovely. And to be honest, you know, I'm busy constantly, so it's probably good for me to just have a little little bit of time out where I'm just relaxing, resting, and enjoying. Okay, there we go. So those two are strengthened. Let's grab the journal back quickly. So our glue will be dry here now. And I did have a page picked out for these pockets.
Now which way round was I going to do it? I think this way. Yep, that way. Okay, so let's get them in. Sorry, I'm probably almost off camera then. And there's another pocket in the kit that has a gusset on it. So these ones are just plain, straight, ordinary pockets. And then there's one with a gusset, and then there's an envelope as well. Oops. Lace is sticking to my sleeve over on the side there. Okay, so actually, do I want the lace to hang down a bit? I think I might. Let's do that so it hangs off the bottom of the page. Fun. So we're going to have lace sticking out the side and lace sticking off the bottom, which, oh, I like it. Very good. Okay, and then this is the other side of it. And so we're going to pop that there. Cool. My coffee is going to be well and truly cold now. And again, letting that lace hang down a bit. Yes, awesome. So we got some lace trimmed on the pages and we got a couple of pockets done out of the kit. Easy peasy, super sweet, loving it. It's, it's just a joy. I'm really enjoying this. It's so much fun. Okay, thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you uh, got something out of this video too. And I'll see you back for the next one. Take care everybody. Bye.